Mumbai, it seems, is climbing the pollution charts as well. The city of skyscrapers and financial institutions has its pollution levels also on an upsurge. It is uh, uh, fourth on the list of the most polluted megacities of the world. According to the World Health Organization or the WHO, 14 out of 20 most polluted cities in the world are in India. Maximum city, maximum pollution. The city's green cover disappearing at an alarming rate, giving way to construction to ease the burden on a city bursting at its seams. Mumbai's green warriors fear Mumbai will become a Delhi soon. Anybody living in Mumbai will say that the air quality has deteriorated drastically over the last few years. Uh, we can see construction going on all around us. Uh, I think construction is one of the biggest, uh, uh, biggest problems creating dust, pollution. And uh, as far as I am concerned, we have been fighting about the tree cover in Mumbai because the tree cover really helps protect the city citizens from the dust, the pollution, uh, the noise. All these are different, different, uh, different types of pollution which are uh, really killing us. The Pollution Control Board says Mumbai's air quality is moderate, adding they have a plan to check air pollution and the hazards that come with it. IIT Bombay has been roped in to prepare a roadmap to achieve the Maharashtra Clear Air Mission 2022. No need to panic. Mumbai air is moderate, mm -hmm. uh, good and moderate. But there is a, you know, the very uh, with the government initiative, various developmental project is going on in Mumbai, mm -hmm. like flyovers, metros, mm -hmm. uh, uh, metros and other things. Uh, mm -hmm. So. There is a, some part of the dust is there, I cannot deny, but this is a development activity. Mm -hmm. And we are working on that, uh, making the load clean, uh, applying a, um, road cleaning machines also, and we have formulated action plan for the various parts like installation of your or wine machines at the various junction also. So it can also soak up the take up the vehicular emissions also. So we are on right. Indu Khosla, a pediatrician who specializes in diagnosing lung diseases, is concerned with the rise in the number of pollution related cases. Children now are predisposed to developing more respiratory problems, she says. The number of cases has simply doubled over the last few years, according to her. Because of the environmental dust and pollution and the vehicular emissions, that these kids are coughing more often and if it continues, probably as in adults they would have more allergies. And in the last two years, uh, we are seeing increasing rhinitis in kids. Haze, dust, respiratory issues are all signs of worsening air quality in the city. The coastal wind provides some relief from the air pollution but Mumbai urgently needs to get its act together if it wants to avoid a Delhi-like situation. In Mumbai, Intia Samnani for NDTV.